You think we can get her started, boys? A full week since it was ran last. Just plugged it in yesterday, Dad said. Well, doesn't look like that is going to happen. The batteries are 110% shot. Thing did not even crank over a little bit. Not even the slightest. 100% dead. No ghost. Dad did say that he had the nasty red charging up again. This trick hasn't been started in a handful of weeks. So let me see if I can get this trick started up and let it run for a little while. Because this trick hadn't been started in a while as well. If I can get it started, I'm gonna let it run a little while while I hook mine back up and stuff like that. About 10 minutes and I'll just probably shut it down. I'll probably cycle it one more time as well. Oh ho, she's cold. I'll probably let her idle about 10 minutes. She wasn't plugged in at all. And the batteries were both just charged up, I think, two days ago, my dad said. So it's been charging the batteries up, so it's been, hasn't been plugged in though, and ever since we bought it. I'm gonna try one more time. Will it work? I don't know. But we're gonna try. turn this one off, but I am going to let this start run about 10 minutes as well to get the batteries a chance to kind of cycle up at least a little bit. Um, also, we've got the truck warm up since it has sat for over a week not running. It's been running about 15 minutes. I didn't need to run any longer than that. I owe a huge shout out to this product for jump starting my truck just now. One of the neatest little things if you own a truck and or any vehicle and you're worried about your batteries dying. Uh, this one's geared towards vehicles up to six liter diesel engines or like V10 gas engines or something like that. You just take this little harness with the two little tabs on it for hooking up to your battery. You just plug it into the side. You hook these up to your batteries, you know, negative to negative, positive to positive. And you click power right there on the side and then the thing kicks on and when the light is a solid green, right now it's flashing because it's not hooked up to any batteries. When it turns solid green, wait about 30 seconds Turn over the engine and it should start up your truck if you've got the proper you know jump starter to fit the range of engines that suits your vehicle yeah i'll definitely leave a link to this in the description below i think it's like 80 bucks or something what is up loud and proud crowd i hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous on this fine freezing cold day it's actually in the negatives again today a real feel is extra 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 low so hopefully you guys are all doing absolutely swell i am back in town so i am hopefully going to be getting back on schedule with the daily uploads i had a absolute blast over in pennsylvania you know we did some hunting in the mountains over there and some stuff like that and it was just super fun got to spend time with guys and you know hike around and just have fun it was just a good good time you know it was really really cold but so we had a lot of fun nonetheless and you know regardless whether we shot a deer or not which we didn't on that particular hunt the scenery was absolutely incredible all well well worth the time i took off and hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much but what we are going to do today is kind of give you guys a rundown on how 2017 treated me and i know this has been a popular thing lately for youtubers to do i really did want to do this one because you know it was a first for me there's a lot of firsts for me 2017 was a big year for a lot of people and for me you know especially it was a huge year for me you know i went from working a job which i was good at but i didn't love it just wasn't my thing you know pursuing something that i really was interested in something that i really wanted to be more a part of and it just blossomed into something beyond what i could have imagined really in the time frame that it did you know i'm just extremely thankful and extremely blessed what i want to do right now is i want to go through kind of a list of the things that we did accomplish this 2017 for the past eight months now i think i've been doing youtube i didn't have any kind of social status you know like i didn't 
didn't, I wasn't big on Instagram. You know, I didn't have a huge following on Instagram, you know, to help boost me. You know, I didn't have any kind of shout outs. I didn't have any kind of mentions. I didn't get any collaborations to up my subscribers super quick and easy, you know, without having to really put in tons of effort. I started from the ground, like the bottom. I had a GoPro and I just bought a laptop a couple of months previous for my other YouTube channel, which is Brotherhood Outdoors, which is what I did for about a year before I started Loud and Proud, which was um, just hunting and outdoor stuff like that. So that's where I started off. So I'm like, you know what? I love the outdoors, but it just, it's just tough to grow in that aspect. Now that channel, of course, recently in the past handful months has absolutely blown up. It's now like 8,000 some subscribers and that's blown up for an outdoors channel that I really don't give a ton of attention other than, you know, the more quality videos that I get for. I don't just post everything there anymore like I used to. But you know, I love trucks and I love that and it's always been a passion of mine. You can ask anybody that knows me since I was real young. I was always talking about trucks and diesel trucks and this and that and I just thought it was they're the coolest thing. I was so fascinated by uh, diesel trucks. Dad always had a 7.3 growing up and so I grabbed a GoPro one day, grabbed my laptop and I'm like, okay, starting today, I believe it was April 31st. Like today's the day I officially become a YouTuber and I, and I made up in my mind. I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm going to pursue this and I'm going to go full out and I did not miss a video. I think the first five months straight, I did not miss a single day. I uploaded every single day, Saturdays, Sundays included. I seriously did not take a break. I was just so in love with it and you know, at the time, you know, starting off, I'd get like 200 views to you know 500 views on a video. I was like, oh dude, this is this is awesome. You know, like I'm doing so good. And uh, you know, you you see a little bit of AdSense racking up, and you're like, oh man, wow. You know, like this is YouTube. I'm like, I'm doing what I love. Like at the in the beginning, even I was happy. I was like, I'm not making very much. I'm like, I'm having so much fun with it. You know. And then from that point on, it just blew up. I kind of go through a little bit of the timeline. It went from being like something that was fun, and I was you know making a little something to something that was extremely fun, and I was extremely passionate about. And I just realized like video entertainment, creating video in general, was a huge passion of mine. All I knew was like for the past like two years, I've been trying to pursue YouTube in any way possible, whether it was, you know, my outdoors channel or, you know, loud and proud now. Every single day I wanted to grab the camera and film something, whatever experience that I could possibly share each day with you guys, you know? And so that was just kind of my thing. And once I got into the truck thing, it's just to a whole nother level. I think I've been doing it for a full eight months now. At the time, I, I didn't even have my own truck to start, you know, with making videos and stuff. Just, I'm gonna kind of go over the course of this video, things that took place, some of the uh, milestones, I guess you can say, you know, different areas and different goals that we met in the time frames. And this is where it all started off April 31st, 2017. You know, that day was a day to put down in history for a loud and proud. We went to go get the first gen. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know how we got the first gen. I'll just kind of give you just what happened. We had a nice, you know, Polaris Ranger. We had a nice Polaris ATV 800 and a Ranger 900 XP, whatever. Those machines got stolen, okay? And we had just got back the insurance check to cover those vehicles. We came across this truck on the internet. My dad's like, we're gonna look at this. And he's like, man, he's like, do we replace the Ranger and the ATV? Or do we get the first gen? Do we get a Ranger and the ATV? Do we get the first gen? And he's like, you know what? We don't ride those things enough to be, you know, worth getting another set. Let's get a first gen. So we, we saw this one 80. 4,000 original miles at the time, just hit 85,000 a couple weeks ago. No horsepower mods done to the thing. Only thing done to it, a straight pipe exhaust. We got the first gen, we brought it home, and that was my very first video. That video's now got over 40 some thousand hits, and that was the very first video on the channel. Every single day I made videos on the first gen, pursuing that truck with video content and stuff like that, and making sure I was putting out content. And at the time, you know, like I said, views are really low. I got 42,000 views, but you know, that video, it took it you know, three months to get 42,000 views. It didn't start out with 42,000, but I kept making videos on this truck and I'm like, okay, views are low, but you know, I'm just getting started. So I'm gonna keep on doing this. I think after the first two weeks, the channel hit 1,000 subscribers, two weeks, no shout outs, no mentions, nothing, no popularity status, nothing at all. And at the time I was like, okay, I'm like, I'm like, dad, I'm like, this is, this is going good. Like, oh my goodness. Like I got to keep on doing this. You know, I got to keep pursuing it. I got to keep chasing it. I mean, that truck is what got this thing started. It was the very beginning of June. I think it was like June 5th area. I remember this day just past 4,000 subscribers. I just bought my truck the day before and I was like, okay, I'm like, I feel on top of the world. I'm like, I just paid cash for my, you know, my first diesel truck. Go check out the videos on that truck. You know, all the different build on that truck. Just graduated, just hit 4,000 subscribers. I was feeling myself. I was like, man, I'm like, this is going good. And I just created my first somewhat viral video. That was a video of what do girls know about diesel trucks. And that video has got, I think 110,000 views and counting about 500 a day still. That was one of my first, you know, viral videos. Like I think I got like 70,000 some views, the first 70,000 views in like a week or two. That video gave me a huge boost. I went up from 4,000 
to, I believe, 8,000 subscribers in about a week. And then I was getting to the point where I was consistently getting a couple thousand views on videos, and I was like, okay, I'm like, this is going really good now, you know what I mean? Like, I'm consistently getting a couple thousand views. You know, this is, this is cool, this is a turn. And then basically, where we're gonna end up next is late summer, late summer. We just picked up the nasty red, that's that truck right back there for sale right around the corner from our house. No joke, right around the corner. Got that truck, I think we paid $5,000 for that truck. That build is just about to take off here within the next couple weeks. It's gonna be really, really cruising. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that truck. Just had just picked up that truck and I believe we are just now rolling past like 15 thousand-ish subscribers at the time. And that was at the end of summer, early fall. I had made over 100 videos on the channel, 120 some videos on the channel, I believe. And things were rolling. Things were really moving. I was starting to average 10 to 15,000 views on videos and that was a really that was a really big thing for me. I just pretty much finished the build with my truck around late August, I do believe. Late August, mid September. I was just wrapping up the build on my truck. Very sad to see that truck go. The kid still sends me videos of the thing and working on it and stuff like that. I'm just like, man, I'm like I gotta have another SRW, you know, second gen. I just want another second gen like that. You know, like I gotta have another white second gen. I don't know why, I just love that thing. I'll have another one at some point, I'm sure. I wrapped up that build, sold that truck. And at this point, I'm starting to average, I think 15 to 20,000 views on videos. And then I bought the Dually. This truck's got a lot of stuff coming to it very, very soon. This truck and the Nasty Red have a ton of stuff coming to them this next month or two. Across the next couple months, they're gonna have a lot of stuff getting done. And right around the time I got the Dually, I think we were around 26,000 subscribers. You know, I started making videos, obviously, with this truck just over the past month. I've been making videos on this truck already past 30,000 subscribers. Actually, we're about to roll over 31,000, I think, maybe tomorrow. So that's kind of a gist of what happened in my 2017. I bought my first diesel truck, project, first diesel truck. I bought my second diesel truck in 2017, and and started on that project. Dad bought two diesel trucks, the first gen and the second gen. It was an incredible 2017 for me. I had a huge turn in career paths. I got my first couple diesel trucks, which I paid for both in cash, full up front. So you know guys, that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, my life in general, I couldn't be more grateful and more blessed to have every single one of you guys here now. By the way, we did pass 10,000 on Instagram yesterday, which is another uh, big goal of mine that I had set. But I guess here's gonna be the takeaway from this video, you know? I've got big plans for the channel, where I wanna take things, and it's not necessarily just YouTube videos, but but there's a lot of stuff I want to, you know, wrap around this, you know, to introduce to the channel and introduce to you guys. A lot of big things. I get asked all the time, you know, um, why aren't you going to college? You know, all you do is YouTube, all the, you know, whatever. If you don't go to school and you don't do this and you don't do that or, you know, whatever. Basically, if you don't follow the crowds, you're not going to, you know, end up doing big things. You're not going to achieve great things. You're not going to go anywhere with your life. And I think that's a huge, huge misleading thing that a lot of people try to talk into the minds of other people around them. You know, a huge takeaway for me in the past eight months of pursuing YouTube, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna sound really cliche, but chase your freaking dreams. This is no exaggeration. Eight months ago, I was making $400 a month and I was just not satisfied. I was like, you know what, there's more to it. I wanna be my own thing. I wanna chase my own dream. This just isn't where I wanna be. You know, it was good for the time being, you know, it taught me some things, but it just wasn't where I wanted to be. It said, you know, enough's enough and I'm gonna pursue something that I'm really passionate about, that I really wanna do. The biggest obstacle for most people is the fear of failure and I think a lot of people are afraid to pursue the bigger things and pursue their dreams maybe because they're afraid to fail only thing that you can do to fail is not try and I'm a firm believer in that that's the honest truth you know there's more to life and there's more that I want to pursue and there's more that I want to do and then I just decided one day you know what I'm gonna stop procrastinating on my dreams I'm gonna stop you know sitting around feeling sorry for myself the only person holding you back is yourself you know and that's the that's the honest truth as much as you know people don't want to believe it and they want to point fingers the real difference between you know being where you are and where you want to be is just pursuing your dreams and going after it you know you got to be a go-getter and you get every single day there's gonna be there's gonna be so much hate you know and that was a huge huge frustration for me over the past eight months was hate down in the comment section and it really got to my head at one point I mean it was messing with my mind so bad I was about to let it drop and I'm like you know what I'm thinking at the time I was like there's 20 some thousand people that care to you know hear what I have to say every single day you know let's even cut that in half let's say only 10,000 of those people come back every day is it worth pursuing this to at least do it for the people who do actually care who do actually believe in what you're doing and actually believe in where you're trying to go with things you know it is it really is guys don't get discouraged pursue your dreams a lot of things can happen if you want to know the real difference between you know where I was and where, where I'm at with the support of you guys and the help from you guys it was just a day that I decided I'm gonna say no to being satisfied with you know 
an average job, an average life, and say yes to following my dreams and chasing what I'm passionate about, and that's when things really took a turn in my life. I think everybody should take that piece of advice, you know, and it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter where you're at, and all the success, the wealth, the happiness, the love, all that stuff, and the joy in what you do is all going to go with that. If it's really what you set your mind and set your heart to that you really want to do, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That was what we accomplished 2017, and guys, 2018, there is a lot in store for you guys, and it is going to be way better. If you thought 2017 was a decent year for the channel, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss 2018. There's some big things coming. There's gonna be new trucks, there's gonna be new parts, new builds, there's gonna be new stuff happening. So guys, before I end this video, let me just tell you one thing. Be the difference in your life. Be the difference in the people that you're around, the people that you associate yourself with. When you're out in public, you know, when you're on social media, when you're on whatever, be the best version of you. Think about what you could say, do, act upon, or be today. That could make the world a better place tomorrow, and it all starts with you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button, drop your comments down below, subscribe if you have not yet done so, join the family, join the team. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. When I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright. Live a normal life, doing nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.